labour hire. Now, labour hire is a growing problem in Australian workplaces. Too many companies are starting to use labour hire firms to undercut collective agreement rates and directly employed agreement rates of pay. Um, I've stood in this place a number of times and raised examples in my electorate of how big companies like Don Kaya have used overseas backpackers paying the meal board to undercut their directly employed EBA workers, local workers. The one I have not mentioned which relates to Palmlet is what happened at the Palmlet facility in Bendigo. We don't have within that collective agreement a clause restricting labour hire. And what happened there last year was that a number of workers, labour hire local workers working for manpower, um, were replaced by workers working for Program Skilled. But when they all went to apply for jobs with Program Skilled, these are the local workers, uh, they weren't given any hours. Instead, Program Skilled had hired Irish backpackers. Irish backpackers to do the work that these previous labour hire workers had done. So that was 16 locals from Bendigo who lost work, replaced with Irish backpackers. Only after, after a few months it was discovered that these foreign workers were paid um, $10 less per hour than their Aussie colleagues. Two months after, there was a major payroll dispute. Many closures, including those who'd worked there for many years, were either underpaid or paid late. Penalty rates and overtime did not apply. It's an ongoing dispute at the site, and still to this day, a lot of local workers have not been reinstated or received work. This is one of the reasons why the workers at Parmalat and Echuca have the right to be outraged. Just an hour down the road, where there's another Parmalat facility, we have seen local workers replaced with exploited overseas backpackers here in this country being ripped off by their labour hire company. Deputy Speaker, the government needs to act and take seriously a lot of the corporate avoidance that is going on in relation to the Fair Work Act. There are just too many agreements that are being terminated by Fair Work, where workers are being bullied into copying um, pay cuts and a, a reduction in conditions. In fact, 416 agreements in the first three quarters of 2016. That's how many agreements um, the Fair Work Commission terminated. This is up from 275 in 2015 and 156 in 2014. Most of these agreements are in the construction and manufacturing sector, um, and 87% of them cover fewer than 100 employers. And as I've stated, many of these agreements, the wages and the jobs that they secure are workers in regional area. This is money that has not just been taken out of the pockets of these workers, but has been taken out of the local economy. It's similar to if you cut penalty rates, you cut um, money that um, is in the local economy. What we need is a government that takes these issues seriously, that works to close the loopholes that have, um, that have been exposed in the Fair Work Act. If we truly want to have a high wage wages growth in our society, then the government must act and close these loopholes.